Just because you can't afford to buy in Metro Vancouver's crazed real estate market doesn't mean you can't afford to live here. In fact, Generation Howe is proving they're much better off paying rent. And that is the subject of NewsHour Insight tonight. Deb Hope joins us with more. Yeah, we haven't heard about this too much, but it's mm -hmm. definitely getting more popular. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Uh, we've been talking this week about how young families are finding ways to buy real estate. But what do you do when you don't want to rely on the bank of mom and dad. You can't build a carriage house and the suburbs are not an option. But some Gen Howers have decided home ownership just isn't for them. And in many cases, they have never been happier. Here's Tanya Beja. Grace Yu and Nick Yan live a block from Kitts Beach. All the way down. All the way down to the beach. Yep. They say they love their neighborhood and can afford to live here because the two have chosen to rent. I don't want to be house poor <laughs> because I feel like people put so much money into it and all their investments into something and I don't want to like not live life to the fullest. And that's what they've been doing. From San Francisco to Savannah, Paris and the Great Wall, the couple have traveled the world with the money they would have spent on a mortgage. Cutting out property taxes, renos and strata fees means Grace and Nick also have extra cash for their own catering business. We're not poor, but we just chose to invest our money differently in ourselves, in our lives, in our business. I'd rather invest it in something that can make me money right now at this very point in our lives than put it towards a home right now which is kind of out of our price range. This is the ideal generations of North Americans have been striving for. That dream of owning a little piece of land in Vancouver has not only fueled record high debt levels, it's also turned real estate into near religion. And those who seek the heart of Vancouver will find it in the beautiful homes and gardens. When you look at what's around you, that reality is not the same as when you were 12 thinking, when I grow up, I want a house and I want a car and I want this. It just doesn't, the reality is not like that anymore. The reality experts say is that the price difference between rent and home ownership in Vancouver is the highest in the country. Frankly, in the city of Vancouver and in the region, it's much, much cheaper to rent than it is to buy. In some cases, 30% less for the same exact place. You've got a, a beautiful hidden fridge. Michelle Farina um, says many of her clients are coming to the same conclusion. She runs a high-end rental point. property company. More than half of her recent business has come from former homeowners. You know, often we do get people selling their homes and looking to rent um, because they're downsizing or because, you know, of family situations have changed. Um, but now it's simply they're not looking to get back in the market right away. People leaving the market have done very well. Vancouver home prices have more than doubled over the past decade. That's a new target. This investment advisor recommends renting for now and says the hot market can't last forever. Right now, many people have, are only focusing on the upside because that's all we remember. But, you know, historically, uh, prices go up and prices go down. Introducing Rent Geek. Grace is so committed to renting, she started up her own website to help others find the perfect place. Hi, everyone. Welcome to RentGeek.com. There is a freedom to renting and then taking the extra money and investing. I don't even think of it as being bad that I don't own anything because I own so many other things like I own my own business, I own my car, you know, you own certain things just because I don't own a house doesn't mean I didn't reach a goal I guess in my life. 